I got 12 years of things I've wanted to get off my chest. And the very first thing I want to do is I want to call back there and ask Shawn Michaels to come out here and see me face to face. Whoa. Call you Sean. I think I'd like to take this opportunity right now to bury the hatchet with you and call for a truce. First of all, Hitman, before you come out here and get your closure, there's something I've been waiting 12 years to say to you. The fact is, you deserved what happened 12 years ago in Montreal. You disrespected me, and you disrespected this business. And yes, I did have a hand in what Vince McMahon did that night. I rest my case. And there's a part of me, there's a big part of me, that doesn't regret a bit of it. But there's another part of me. There's another part of me that knows that in the last 12 years, a lot of things have changed. A lot of things in my life have changed. You know, Brett, I always respected you. I just never felt you respected me. And there were times when I couldn't stand the sight of you. And I know, I know the feeling is more than mutual. But you know something? When I think of Bret Hart, I don't think of Montreal. I think of Anaheim, California. I think of a 60-minute iron match. A 60-minute iron match that everybody said nobody would want to see. And they certainly wouldn't want to see it on pay-per-view. They said nobody could do it. Yeah, Brett the Hitman Hart and Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels went out there and they did do it. And they redefined everything that this industry ever stood for. When I think of Bret Hart, I think of the excellence of execution. Yeah. 
You're not the only one, Brett, that's been carrying this around for 12 years. You're not the only one that's ready to move on. You're not the only one that wants to bury the hatchet. I guess all I have to say is, are you sure? And are you ready? Well, let's be real honest. You weren't the easiest guy in the world to love either back then. And you're a guy that certainly had his issues. But you're right. My career and your career shouldn't always be tagged by what happened at Survivor Series. I had a great career. You've had a great career. We both accomplished so many things. I think it's a good, as good a time as any right here and now for you and me to take this opportunity in front of all these fans right here in Dayton and all around the world to look each other in the eye and take this moment and say that we could be friends. So I offer my hand to you in friendship right here in front of everybody. Right from the heart, right from the bottom of my heart, I call for a truce, and I call for you to shake my hand, and if you want to bury the hatchet, let's bury it right now.